Can we, can we? <laughs> So good morning. Um, I'm here again to have a quick vlog review and this time we are going to have a discussion about our statins. So I have here in my hand, this is an atorvastatin and the other one is a simvastatin. Before anything else, before we understand no, the different information about our statins, we first have to um, go back to the mechanism of action. No? When you say mechanism of action, ito yung parang kilos niya sa ating katawan. So here I have summarized the mechanism of action of our statins. So in our body kasi, um, we have um, acetyl-CoA. Now, una sa lahat, pa paano ba nagkakaroon ng cholesterol? O paano siya nasisynthesize? Pa paano siya nagpuproduce? So diba, cholesterol is being produced because of this pathway. So the acetyl-CoA, in our body we have acetyl-CoA, it will be converted or it will be transformed by the HMJ-CoA um, synthase in a form of HMJ-CoA. Now, yung HMJ-CoA natin is converted in a form of mevalonate by the HMJ-CoA reductase. And syempre, kapag stimulated yung mevalonate natin, it will produce a lot of cholesterol in our body. Now, our statin works by inhibiting this so-called reductase. So, syempre, pag na-inhibit na yung reductase, yung HMJ-CoA reductase, wala nang gagawa ng cholesterol. So, ibig sabihin, ang cholesterol is bababa na or magiging maintained siya or control. Okay, so we have different specific agents that falls under statins. Okay, so ang mga statins kasi natin, um, we have, um, example na lang dyan is simvastatin, lovastatin, fluvastatin, atorvastatin, rosovastatin. And among all the specific agents of statins, meron tayong dalawang most potent statins and that is the atorvastatin and the rosovastatin. Atorvastatin has a T-half-life or yung elimination half-life niya is 14 hours and the rosovastatin is 19 hours. So, mahaba-haba ang kanilang duration of action. Okay, so... Um, aside from lowering the, the bad cholesterol or, or yung LDL is they also have a capacity of increasing the HDL. Yung HDL, alam naman po natin that that is a good cholesterol. Now, um, so nasabi natin ng atorvastatin and the rosovastatin, alam na natin yung half-life nila, and the remaining or the rest of the statins, their half-life is for about 1 to 2 hours only. And uh, among all these specific agents of statins, we have two types of statins na pwedeng maabsorb sa ating CNS. Ibig sabihin, meron din silang CNS side effect. And that is the lovastatin and the simvastatin. Pwede silang maabsorb ng ating CNS. Okay, and um, ngayon, question, bakit kaya ang simvastatin is tinitake siya at night? Okay, bakit kaya mga doctors, binibigay nila ang statins natin sa gabi? Because at night, um... Yun nga, ang ating katawan, physiologically speaking, no, ang ating katawan, it is synthesizing cholesterol at the time wherein we are having a low dietary intake. So, di ba sa gabi naman, kahit nasabihin man natin midnight snack yan, hindi naman ganun kadami, kadalas yung nakakain natin, di ba? As compared with the breakfast, lunch, or sa umaga. So, ginagamit natin sila sa gabi. Para ma-inhibit yung synthesis ng cholesterol na nangyayari sa gabi, Okay, or kapag tayo ay tulog na. Ngayon, ang atorvastatin and rosovastatin, they are given anytime kasi they have a long duration of action naman. Okay, and um, important reminders, statins are not given to pregnant patients kasi they are um, under category X. So, ibig sabihin under category X sila, they will have some fetal adverse effects doon sa nasa sinapupunan ng isang nanay. And ano pa, their known adverse effect as well is rhabdomyolysis or pwede silang makapag-cause ng uh, muscle cell myopathy. And ano pa, um, they can also increase the levels of warfarin. That is why if the patient is being co-administered with warfarin, uh, kunwari, ang pasyente is nagtitake siya ng warfarin, tapos bibigyan natin ng statins, hindi pwede. Actually, hindi lang statins, but also yung fibrates natin. Hindi natin sila pwedeng pagsabayan with warfarin kasi itataas nila yung concentrations ng warfarin and that may lead to hemorrhage. Okay, what else? Um, They can also cause liver dysfunction. Ano pa ba? Um... Uh, yeah, siguro that ends our um, quick drug review. So, the next time that we are given na, na makakarinig tayo ng statins, yeah, you always have to remember, simvastatin is taken at night, ator and rosovastatin at, are, are taken any time of the day because they have a long elimination half-life. So, bye!